good morning everybody this is mark and jason we actually uh, spent the night here aj had gone back to the hotel to get some rest since he'll be driving us home um so we're going to do some early morning investigating here at the randolph county asylum slash infirmary and uh, we left our ir cams going all night left some trail cams some evp recorders out we're going to start out on the second floor because we or the first floor because we know we have reception there and then uh, we'll try to uh, broadcast from the basement I'm not sure how the reception will be but uh, Jason's got the IR cam going and I guess we're ready to go do some early morning investigating so we'll follow you Jason this is the uh, early morning version of PRGI Live. So we are going to see what occurs. I'm going to turn you around so you can see what's going on. Oh, it does. Oh, well. So this is what it looks like early in the morning with some pre-dawn light. We do have someone tuned in. All right. This is uh, Mark and Jason. We did some early morning investigating at the Randolph County Asylum. And we slept here last night and uh, we're gonna see if we can wake some people up. See what occurs. This is the this the female side? No. Yeah. yeah. This is the Probably female. Male. Is it? This is either the female or male side. We are still half asleep. <coughs> I think we slept about two and a half hours. I get so confused with it. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not sure where we're at right now. Running on about two and a half hours of sleep. And we pulled a uh, Nick and Katrina um, lockdown last night. Good morning. Jason and Mark, we stayed here with you guys last night. We wanted to uh, wake up with you. So this was the male side here. We're gonna walk over towards the female side. A little bit darker over here. Of course, a lot of our stuff is packed up. Morning, Doris. Hello, Doris. We just wanna thank you for interacting with us last night. And I'm thinking you may not even be in here. You're probably downstairs getting breakfast ready. But your dogs are still looking beautiful. Doris, if you are in here, can you give us a knock back like this? I think she's downstairs getting breakfast ready. Is everybody awake? Morning, Noah. Noah, are you ready to play some games? I love all these toys and Things that people have brought you, written you a letter, stacked up, your cups to play, everybody's left you a toy it seems like. So you know what, we want to invite you to walk around with us this morning. You can uh, hand us one of those balls if you want to, if you're awake and want to play some 
play some ball. Play some marbles. It's a period tricycle. <clears throat> Back into the darkness. This is a uh, it's still pretty dark. Again, our flashlights are packed up. But we're going to go roust up on the second floor. Then we're going to go downstairs to the basement and uh, ring the bell. The bell sounded the time for breakfast, lunch. Uh, they pretty much lived by that bell. This is look from the outside in the morning. Yeah, it's a very cool morning up here in Indiana. Morning, folks. Hmm. This is. You know what? I think this is Noah's room. No, no, no. Room Noah's room is downstairs. Room. This was another child's room was housed here with their mother. You can see some toys some people have put here. Somebody's written a note. Well, yeah. Okay, he said about this was a student thing about the pattern. Yeah. Thing up there. That's pretty much it. But people's leaving stuff in here so. Yeah be very hard to hear on this side of the infirmary with the traffic going. Looks like some people have woken up and said those idiots are live again <laughs> and then went back to sleep. Is there anybody awake and ready to go get some breakfast? No, we can't be the only ones awake. Oh, you need to show them the fire. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, this is interesting. There was a fire here, and it literally bent the fan blades from the heat. The interesting part is the fan still works with the blades like that. It's pretty amazing. It's like a, almost like a helicopter. <laughs> you can see here again, outside the infirmary. Jason's running the IR cam. Anybody awake over here? Are you guys about ready to go eat some breakfast? These are one of the rooms where they would have social gatherings. Again, they did split it between the men and the women. It was uh, segregated, if you will, by male and female. If there's anyone in one of those wheelchairs, do you, do you need some assistance? You need some help getting down there to, to grab some food. I thought I heard. 
or something? Um, it could be my stomach. Okay. Again, here's another one of the hallways early in the morning. Here's the jail cell. You can actually see it better than we did last night during the live because of the daylight. And I know when I went in there yesterday, or last night, it uh, we lost reception. This is weird. Any of you uh, thugs in there, we're gonna bring you some breakfast here shortly. You've gotta spend 30 days in this little cell just for acting up. Now that was a voice. Mm -hmm. Right down there. Yep, we clearly right down there. We definitely just heard a voice down there. It literally sounded like a normal conversation, mm -hmm. like somebody was talking. It sure did. This is the first for PRGI <laughs> to uh, do an early morning investigation before most people are up. <clears throat> so hopefully we're not waking you up from your slumber. But Jason and I just heard a voice down here, down at this end of the hallway. the sun shining through one of the cracks in the doorway. Well, everybody's running away. We still have our IR cams running from last night. We have the hallways covered, the attic. Now you can really see right behind that white building to where there's a graveyard that's unmarked. And they have uh, records to show that there were 51 people buried right behind that, that little barn. And you can actually see the uh, beginning and end mounds when you go out there and look at it. Part of the team did investigate that area last night. <coughs> Didn't get much, did we you? Get, we got maybe an, MP, maybe an MPVP out of it. That's really it. It's really hard to investigate outside because there's just so much ambient noise that can interfere. You can't really Validated. It has to be like a Class A plus mm -hmm. EVP if you're investigating outside, whether it be morning or night. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we might lose reception, and if we do, then um, we hope that you enjoyed a short morning session. But I think we're going to go downstairs to the basement where the kitchen was located where Miss Doris was probably cooking a, a great breakfast. Let's go say hi. This early in the morning, we're gonna go say hi and ring the breakfast bell, see if we can rouse some people up. Head it down this way. Do what? We're up, they might as well be too. Yeah. So again, if we lose reception, we will continue the video, but uh, those of you who are who have tuned in this morning, what are you doing up so early? <laughs> so here we go. We'll see how long. The basement, of course, will probably be darker. No, it actually looks brighter because of some of the well, some of the sun. 
You won't be able to see it because it's so dark, but there's a room right here that's got an extra room, a little hole in the wall. And uh, there were some interesting things that happened in there. Um, a bunch of quote unquote hippies, <laughs> as we were told, were in there um, doing very weird things. Had some, some of their drums going and, and things of that nature. Jason's in there with the IR cam. Here's one of the rooms down here. This room is really interesting. You'll notice the broom. Of course, a prop now that's up top. But this is a room where a lady had hung herself. Miss Ida. Notice we have a still an EVP recorder going with a trail cam. Left that running all night. In fact, let's see if the uh, recorder is still going. I do believe that it is full. Yep. So we'll go ahead and power this off. Throw that in my pocket. Go ahead and grab the trail cam. Looks like the trail cam ran all night. Mm -hmm. So I that's good. You can see this is also the only room with bars in it. Now, do you remember why the bars were on here, Jason? Well, the bars were on here previously. And this, I don't know why they were on here to begin with. But uh, when they found the bars, that's why they put the ID in here because she liked to roam. And they didn't want her getting out at night. So they put her in here. She couldn't get out. They would lock her door at night when they went to bed. And in the morning at like five or six, they'd open the door back up and they would lock it again back into the nighttime. So they basically let her roam anywhere she wanted to during the day. But at night, to keep her safe, they locked the door. And unfortunately, they found her the next morning. She had hung herself just like this with a broom between these two pipes with her bed sheets tied up in a knot, twisted. They, they unfortunately found her in a, in a leaning forward position. Um, sad story. So... Yeah, they usually didn't give her a broom, but she asked for a broom because her floor was dirty. And the caretaker gave her one. Of course, not knowing yeah, what not she was planning. So, so looks like we've still got signal. We've got a better signal this morning, evidently. Because there's not many people on, on the, the network in the area. Yeah. So you can see some of the areas in the basement still get a little bit darker. And then I think because of the position of the sun, there's actually some of the areas that are that are brighter. This here was an interesting room. You can see a lot of nails driven in here. Screws. There was what they believe was someone who was autistic. And they really liked to hammer nails and, and screw in the screws. Of course, they would use a screwdriver. And they would just sit here and, and do that consistently over and over and over. So, I bet this old boy had some Popeye forearms. Oh, yeah. Had to be, had to be a good grip and strong. You can see some of the nails on this end. Nails and screws. During investigations, there have been lots of interactions. We had some really good K2 hits, EMF hits last night. Their EDI, tri-field meter. 
We're getting some interesting hits. Good morning. Are you, are you ready for some breakfast? Yeah, this was the laundry chute. <clears throat> laundry would end up in here. Which is interesting because the laundry chute is on the male side, but it was the females who did the laundry for the infirmary. So and we're in. have it on the male side. Yeah. So we're entering the dining area in the basement. And right in here is the kitchen where Doris, and if you tuned into our live last night, you know that Doris did all the cooking. She was here over 70 years. Somebody left a quarter here for her. I don't either. So what we're going to do before we ring this bell is we're going to turn this circulation fan off just to see if we hear anything. Once again, here is a picture of Miss Doris. Over 70 years cooking for everybody here. Jason's going to ring the breakfast bell. silent for a minute. I heard a thud or something. Yeah, no, that was not me. It was not my stomach either. I just heard something down at the end. I did too. Let's go. It's time to get something to eat. Doris has got your breakfast ready. Let's wake up and start our day. I just thought I heard something down there too. <clears throat> or on the other side. We did see some shadows moving down at the end of this hallway last night. Chris and I did. Just heard footsteps. Because we're looking this way just for a minute, I'm going to turn the camera around behind me. We'll see if anything, any movement happens in the kitchen. As we're listening to see if people are waking up and coming to get their breakfast. Good morning, everyone.
Now we're hearing footsteps above us on the first floor. There was a loud bang, almost sounded like a door shutting. Who's ready for some chow? We're both feeling the effects of the energy that's in here. Both of us are getting cold chills, hair standing up on our arms. cool if uh, we saw a shadow figure down there. Thank you for, for tuning in this early this morning. Come on, please. Come get cold. We're going to get down here. I'm going to knock real loud on the door. Let's go, guys. Time to come and eat. We're going to serve the children first. And then the ladies, you'll be next. And then the men afterwards. So if we could have all the kids come running up here. We've got your breakfast ready. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That sounded like a child. It did. We just heard a child's voice. I believe Doris cooked you some eggs and bacon, some sausage, biscuits and gravy. Those sound really good about right now. Uh, coach, yeah. Always definitely a lot darker on this side. Mm -hmm. Give you a broader view of the basement here. Again, this was the men's dining room on this side. The first dining room we showed you was the ladies' dining room. They would have these doors shut. Hmm. You guys ready for some breakfast? Right. I heard something sound like it was moving. Yeah. Across the floor, then I heard a couple of footsteps. So we are getting activity. Upstairs, and right <coughs> that, excuse me. You got the far, the middle, and then this one right here. It looked like something went across in that room because the light changed. Here, we won't get any traffic shadow down here. Just the way Not this early. is laid out. But it hasn't happened again. And why just that one if it was traffic from the outside? So again, you can see behind me the men's dining hall. I'm going to refocus back down the hallway. Let's go, breakfast getting cold. These ladies have worked really hard to fix you something good. We got fresh scrambled eggs from the chicken coop. What was interesting was everybody here had a job to do. There was one individual who all he wanted to do was 
was take care of the chickens. And when they got rid of all the chickens, he would just wander around the grounds aimlessly. And so then they brought the chickens back to satisfy him. Do that? Yep. He was right above us. Just a very, very loud noise above us. Going by and that didn't change again. No, the shadows, there's no shadow play from the cars. Not at this angle of the of the hall. Where's the morgue? Is it this side or the other side? It should be this side. Okay, we're gonna go down towards this way where we Jason saw the uh, shadow. See if we keep reception to show you the morgue. Again, just one of the random rooms down here. Yeah, you can see Jason was testing his shadow walking on, on the wall. Dude, this is where it came from. So shadow did come from here in the morgue. So it was almost like something had okay, walk. reached this. So let me, let me see if I can catch that. Okay, walk by. Can barely see the shadow play, yeah. But dude, it was, it was, it turned dark and it got light in there. This is the freezer where they, of course, kept all their meats and things. Yeah, this the is. The food was kept on this side. And uh, there's a really interesting story about what happened on the other side that Jason's going to share with you. So the food was kept on this side. They stacked bodies on this side from the cholera epidemic. So if you see that. And then people started getting sick after they did that. They but did have three people die. Three, at least three people died from that. But they had rows of bodies stacked in here about the A high and about three deep. So they had a vomit table about right here. This right here is just put here for scale. So they would actually have bomb people where they kept food. This right here we did find out is uh, the original butcher block. Mm -hmm. where they would cut the meat. So you can see that they would butcher their meat here and then they would stack the bodies over here. Put some in the freezer, those who died of cholera. And the county was invited them in here. That yeah. And it wasn't just people here. Yeah, it wasn't just people, people who died died here. here. It was the uh, people from around the area who were brought here as well to be embalmed and actually kept in that freezer. Yeah, it's a really interesting story. So we're gonna head back out here to the hallway. And the way the sun's rising, of course we have more light down there very low light this way. So what kind of meat are we going to have for dinner tonight? Gonna have chicken. Sound like shuffling. Just heard a noise that sounded like shuffling. So again, now that we're in the basement, we are hearing all sorts of 
bangs, noises, footsteps from upstairs on the second floor. So we're going to walk down this way. Of course, even in the morning, that room is pitch black. Stairs leading up to the first floor. This room is very bright from the sun rising on this side of the building. Yeah, that's that's that kind of sounded like what we heard. Said it sounded like a, a child cry. They can hear it too. Yeah. Yes. So that's that's awesome. that's a great way to describe it. Sorry, we're running on about two hours sleep, so we couldn't really formulate the words what they said this was a room just for storage and they got people chained up in yes <clears throat> and these right here that's curved they have people chained up there were actually people get yeah, chained to the wall here who would uh, act up such as some of the thugs I'm just looking to see if we can see any remnants, it's probably been covered up by the stucco. It is kind of like caution. They would come in here and hose them down and, and, and all that. Um, put lime on them to kill any uh, germs, bacteria, diseases, and then hose them off as they were chained up, if I recall. Yep. The Here's the drain. That they did that, so that I forgot about that. They did have people chained in both of these rooms, as well as that room that we just went through. So if you're still here, locked down and chained up, we're going to go get you some food and bring it to you. You know, I didn't realize this, but you can stand right here and see the doorways from both hallways. Yeah, next time we come back, we'll put a camera down here. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And you can see them good. Both hallways. At the same time. Again, we just found it very interesting that the laundry chute was on the men's side, but the ladies uh -huh. were the ones who did the laundry. So <laughs> we're not quite sure if the ladies went over. I would say they probably had one male who would take the laundry over to the ladies. But they would have one or two people chained up there. Of course, by today's standards, it would be illegal. Back then, it was common practice. And over here as well. They had a, uh, I believe this one was the room that they had the jail cell in. We yeah. had another jail cell here where they did the live it was, it, The jail cell, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's kind of a natural indention in the floor where you can see where the jail cell used to be. The jail cell was right here. And with these pipes, that jail cell could not have been very tall unless they put it to the ceiling on either side. <clears throat> very interesting and you know, we could not get good reception down here last night for the live session but must not be a lot of people using the Wi-Fi right now so we're able to do this for you in the morning there again you see the hallway leading back to the kitchen I didn't, what'd you hear?
course, we are right by some stairs going up, so we would be able to hear better from the first floor. Once you finish your breakfast, let's start on some chores. Kids, you're going to have a play day today. After your breakfast, mothers, I would like for you to make sure your child's clean. And then let's send them all back to the kitchen. We're going to take them outside and play some games today. Just let them enjoy being kids. Would you, would you like that? This was one of the laundry rooms, and again, this is uh, was all put in here just for scale. Yeah, that was nothing original in here. The place was completely gutted after they'd taken it over. They pretty much had to. Here's one of the back storage spaces, and another another area where they would chain people who were misbehaving, possibly some of the thugs, uh, quote unquote gang. And there's the shed right there, which right behind it is where the, uh, you can see some windmills in the distance, is, is where the, the graveyard is. What had happened was they removed the headstones and built a garden over the burial site. I mean, doesn't make a lot of sense, but th those were different times. So we're gonna go back out here. down the hallway towards the kitchen. We need to do a head count. Could we have everyone step out to the hallway, please? Hi kids, are you ready to go outside and start playing some games? kitchen. This is the area in here. Turn on the light for a moment. We might lose reception in here, but this is the area right through that hole there where the, uh, as the term used, hippies were doing some, uh, some sort of ritual. We did leave a voice recorder going in the hole all night. Having a very uh, quick battery drain here on the phone. So as Jason is walking down the hallway, just wanted to say good morning. 
This was a very short early morning investigation. We're going to uh, go outside, walk the ground, get some aerial footage, some drone footage of the complex. Start returning some of our equipment we still have running. But thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you have a good day for Jason and myself. Mark again, if you first time you've tuned in with us. Thank you guys for checking us out. And uh, we're going to continue investigating for the next couple of hours and until we leave. If we get anything significant, we will post it. But you guys have a wonderful day. Once again, we treat each other with respect and kindness. Um, let's do our part to get rid of this disease that's running around. And we'll continue to hopefully give you a break from all the negativity in the world with our paranormal adventures. So until next time, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. There was a voice down behind me, down the hallway. So we're gonna go check that out. I heard some walking. Some more walking upstairs. And we, again, uh, my phone was at 100% and it literally dropped down to 10% um, when we walked into the hippies room. So before we lose you on accident, we're going to go ahead and end our morning live session. Thank you guys. And uh, we will be in touch soon. We'll let you know as we find evidence, as we analyze. Have a great day and stay safe. Goodbye.